Since tonight, Stephen Avery's lawyer filing paperwork today to re-examine DNA evidence. Kathleen Zellner filed the paperwork at the Manitowoc County Courthouse after asking the appeals court suspend making a decision on his latest appeal. ABC 26's Holly Baker has been at the courthouse all day. She has more on Zellner's motion. Megan, Kathleen Zellner is definitely trying to keep up the momentum that this case has recently earned with Brendan Dassey's overturned conviction. Her post-conviction motion today is requesting that evidence be tested for, St for DNA that Stephen Avery's legal team believes will prove his innocence. Zellner insists that advances in science have made this new testing available that was not an option during Avery's original trial in 2005. She is pointing to many of the pieces of evidence that originally were part of the case against Avery and says if Avery were guilty, he would not be pushing so hard for the test to be done, which his defense team is paying for while he is still incarcerated. And now we've got it pinned down to the testing we need to do to determine once and for all was the evidence um, in the vehicle planted, was the DNA on the bullet planted, was the car key planted, was the DNA on the car key planted. We're going to be able to answer all of those questions because it's been almost 10 years since the verdict and there have been really huge developments in forensic scientists. Zellner says her goal in doing these tests is to clear Avery's name in Teresa Halbuck's death and lay guilt on the person who did, although she has not explained who she thinks is an alternative suspect. And today, Zellner said that some of those tests could be done very rapidly, while others might take up to three months. Live in Mantua, keeping connected, Holly Baker, NBC 26.